Hi guys, this is Maria Angela Galena at this video. So for this video guys, we are answering the actual and most important question. A question of the student from a different school. And to address a factual information, we are a special guest for today's vlog. The main questions of the netizen is, what will happen to those healthcare waste in time of pandemic? According to NoHarmAsia.org organization, a larger hospital can produce a ton of healthcare waste every day. In a hospital in a different country of the developing world, all the trash are mixed together and burned in dangerous and most harmful incinerators or even more in an open field. This method of waste disposal can end up in polluting environment and spreading disease or even more. And it can be worse in time of pandemic because of the disposal method of healthcare waste like PPE, surgical masks, gloves, syringe, and in addition as the empty bottle of the dogs. Let us welcome the healthcare professional, Ms. Angelica Silvano, also answering the questions of the student from the different school. Good day everyone and thank you to you, Ms. Leonor. I Ms. Silvano, your healthcare advisor. Today, I want you to inform about our healthcare waste, which is very important in our current situation. Healthcare waste streams are recurring waste streams which are constantly increasing in volume and complexity in develop and developing countries. Managed properly, clean and appropriate healthcare waste management system, they can cause adverse effects on human and health environment. Improper waste management and illegal waste shipment can have negative impact on both environment and public health. If impact due to different Handling and disposal activities resulting in soil, water, and air pollution. Inadequately disposed of or untreated waste can cause serious health for populations surrounding the area of schools. The disease pathway associated with the poor handling of solid waste, usually through the direct exposure of humans and the of surface water and no water due to take from open dump. The World Health Organization and the World Bank estimate that 88% of diarrhea cases from worldwide can be related to poor water quality, sanitation, and hygiene. Hi, my name is Marjorie Shane Higaliarpe and my question is how to improve the waste segregation system and I Thank you. As an answer to Ms. Kalarpe's question, which is how to improve the waste segregation system. It is necessary to apply appropriate waste management techniques to implement the principle of sustainable development. It is necessary to minimize climate change generated by the aggressive greenhouse effect of the, the Earth which is rapidly accelerating global warming. Management techniques should be implemented through the increase of quotization in the field of planning and logistics of this process. Hi, my name is Monica Falco and my question is, what should we do to avoid this problem? Thank you. As an answer to Ms. Falco's question, which is, how do you see the future of your healthcare? There are three key principles about safe management of healthcare waste. Of unnecessary waste. Second is separation of general waste from hazardous waste. Last one is treatment that reduces risk to help worker and community. Hi, I'm Alice Gata. My question is, what are the possible ways 
and solution that addresses the problem. Yun lamang po at marami sa inyo. The next question from Ms. Katag is, what are the possible ways and solution that addresses the problems? The possible solution about healthcare waste disposal are building and developing waste disposal areas where all the healthcare waste were being thrown properly. These are not causing much damage to the environment as the health of the citizens. Moreover, the government must pass or provide the law that specially provides tackled about proper medical waste disposal. As a solution, we need legislation to allow for more defined role and responsibilities for healthcare personnel responsible for the handling and disposal of waste streams at the point of generation in healthcare facilities. Overall, there is need to formulate more sustainable healthcare waste management legislation. But of course, as an individual, we are responsible human beings. Again, I miss Silvano, your healthcare advisor. Thank you so much for listening and listening. Thank you, Ms. Albano and the student for your participation in your time. I hope you learned a lot. And again, this is me, Jennifer Ayala. I will see you next time. Yes, yes.